Thank God it's Friday on your view. Welcome to the show. I am Obiajulu Olabisi Ubu, and with me are the amazing, beautiful, intelligent ladies. Give it up for yourselves. Please. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Two fingers in the air. Uh -uh. <laughs> It's happening here. Thank you. So um obviously I am trying to ramp up a lot of developments within my estate before rain because like every day they're telling me, ah, TM, uh, madam, you need to come and finish this, your work before rain will start to, and because rain tends to slow down the processes, things you can do, once it's raining, you can't do it, mm -hmm. you have to wait. We're also <laughs> trying to get yam seedlings from um, um, Benue State and it's been really, really tough. So the yam seedlings are not that expensive over there, but transporting it to Lagos makes mm. it really expensive. Cost. We need like, I, right now, if somebody says, I have 10,000 yam seedlings in Lagos, I will buy it. Russia. I'm just saying, wow. we need yam seedlings that bad. We have land, we've done ridges, mm. we're not getting the seedlings at the right pace and we need to plant this month. We need to plant before rain becomes heavy. You plant, then rain now comes on your yam planting and ble yes, you know. So I'm, I'm a farmer and real estate person. This this, okay. this part is a bit complicated, but the real estate is more straightforward. I understand that one. You just need money, cash flow, money comments. <laughs> yeah. I should go in for a party. Yes, yes I, have a, a party. I have a party today. I have Can a party imagine today. how she's looking? Yeah, looking, yeah. Looking. Yeah. You're looking the party. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to Limitless Women Conference tomorrow. I'm speaking at Limitless Women Conference tomorrow. Oh. So if you want, just go on my Instagram page. You will find Limitless Women <laughs> Conference tomorrow. Well done. Nice. Rama too? Yes. I love the way you I call my name. name. Because you taught her now. <laughs> and she gives it to I me. Love swag. Me. How you oh, doing? I'm fine. So on Wednesday we went um, you know, we do this local marketing. Mm -hmm. We took our products to trade fair market. So usually we have regions that we face every Wednesdays. Okay. So we went to trade fair to go and you know look for new markets and all which we're able to get and you know, but you know consistency, we have to be consistent. So we keep going until we're able to supply that whole market and all. And then the kids are resuming on Sunday. Uh, anytime they are resuming, I always feel this. I feel, type of yeah, because they are going to, yes, I'm going to miss them. And sometimes I start reviewing whether the decision I took about this boarding school, <laughs> are you sure I will not reverse it? Uh -uh. Because I'll go and meet my husband and I'll tell him that, look, I'm not, I don't think I'm interested anymore. I'm okay. Since I agreed that time, I don't think I want to continue again. Please, let's reverse this decision. <laughs> But they are enjoying it. Oh, so they are going mushy, back. Mushy parents. <laughs> she can go to your body, let me have space. <laughs> Amaka, baby. Hi, okay, man. I'm a fuma. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so this week has been um, um, filled with lo uh, lunch meetings, like amazing restaurants, foodie. Because anytime I have, a, I have a meeting at a restaurant and I'm seeing food, hmm. my brain yeah, is works working. better. <laughs> so I have two, uh, two new brands that I'm working with. To launch their brands and it's going to be like premium events and you know wow. the branding everything fantastic i love to work with new brands you do events yes. yeah yeah in terms mm -hmm. of your yeah, brand branding management. yeah brand okay. legal and, i'm a legal and business consultant corporate commercial lawyer wow. so yes so i do that and um it's as in this 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 two brands is going to shake Shake Niger. Hmm. Yes, so I'm yeah. so super, super excited about the project. And then for Yanga Lagos, we're rolling out some new collections, oh, jewelry shame. collections. You know, like I'm wearing some pieces. Wow. And then, yeah, so we're doing that. I'm rolling, out, um, rolling that out um, from Monday. So, mm. yeah, come shop in Yanga Lagos. Mm. Oh, Sheo. I can't wait for my kids to go back to school. <laughs> How yes. Can you imagine? Yes, Can darling. You imagine her? They, have, they have eaten me. <laughs> they have chopped me. Every day they are eating. Anytime I get into the stores, I'm buying sausages. I'm buying this one. Mm -hmm. I'm buying ice cream. Mm -hmm. I'm buying just to keep them, you know. And um, I just discovered that uh, they've been spending um, too much time on, the gadgets. on their gadgets. Yes. Mm -hmm. and so I decided to give them a dopamine fast. Mm -hmm. I, I see my children looking so bored. Ah, mommy, we're bored. I said, go and read. Stop you. Go and read. Yeah. Mommy, you're bored. Go and read your book. Mm -hmm. Mommy, did we do anything? Why are you punished? I said, no, this is called dopamine fast. You people Let's are getting break. what they call an addictive brain. Yes. And I will not stop. It. I understand mm -hmm. this thing. So you see, till we resume, nobody's mm -hmm. touching their gadgets. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a few hours a day, at least on Saturday and Sunday, because they're leaving Sunday yeah. morning back to school. And then the house will be quiet again oh. with my little baby that will now start sleeping in my room. Mm. <laughs> it's well. <laughs> 
you will be fine. Parents in Boys enjoying you. Yes, different yeah. phases. Yeah, different phases. Yeah. Different phases. I can't wait. All right. I can't wait. I can't wait. We'll do a short happen. break now. <laughs> when we come back, we we'll take the newspaper reviews. Stay with us. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We'll be starting the newspaper review with the punch. We don't have the nation today. Major headline, federal government places Yahaya Bello on watch list, immigration alerts DSS. Federal government orders border surveillance, asks DSS, NIA, police to prevent ex-governor's escape. EFCC should obey court order restraining ex-governor's arrest. Bello's lawyers insist. Federal government enforces prices in Abuja supermarkets, plans Lagos, Potakot's visits. Seven trillion naira remitted to Federation accounts in six months, according to the RAMFAC. Anti-party activities, PDP, next silent on Wiki, Saraki leads peace panel. Ogun acquires 25 vans, man's Lagos Ibadan Expressway with drones. Lagos Calabar Highway, federal government panel to pay compensation within 10 days. 16 killed as Borno boss runs over ISWAP explosives. Ondo, Aida Tiwa, other APC aspirants battle for 171,922 votes. What stories do we have in the punch? Okay. Uh, so. Okay, while you're looking for that, let me take this one. Said no fewer than 16 persons were feared dead and 20 others injured when a commercial vehicle plying Baga Kukawa Road in the Kukawa local government area of Borono State drove over an improvised explosives uh, device which was suspected to have been planted by ISWAP terrorists. Uh, credible military intelligence sources told Zagazola Makama, a counterinsurgency expert and security analyst in the Lake Chad region, that the incident occurred on Thursday, uh, April 17. And according to them, said Zagazola Makama, uh, reported to 10 feared, 10 persons feared dead, according to credible sources. They said there were no fewer than 16. Others are saying no fewer than 16. Now, the spokesman for the 7th Division, Lieutenant Colonel Ajemusu Jing, Jingiga, uh, said, I will not comment on the incident as the location falls under the jurisdiction of the Multinational Joint Task Force, which is headquartered in N'Djamena, Chad Republic. However, a resident of Baga, uh, Baka Wakil uh, was one who told Punch over the phone that we heard the IED was planted with the intent of killing troops. But unfortunately, commercial vehicle drove over it before any military could get to it. And about 16 persons were, you know, killed and some others injured. Said about 20 mainly passengers were injured. Uh, this is just a painful story. And um, I hope investigations will reveal exactly what happened. And the perpetrators will be... You know, brought to justice. What are the stories do we have in the punch? Okay, so I have mm. the story of Yahya Bello, of course. It's part of our, it's going to be a hot topic later on. Yeah. Um, okay, on a day the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission declared the immediate past Kogi State Governor Yahya Bello wanted Attorney General of the Federation, Latif Agbemi, urged him to turn himself in. <coughs> Yahya Bello was declared wanted for offenses relating to economic and financial crime of 80.2 billion naira. Mm. The, uh, he was supposed to be in court on Thursday, but um, so the EFCC went to his house to make an arrest, to arrest him on Wednesday. And when they got there, they couldn't, they waited for seven hours mm. trying to arrest him, but they couldn't. They now saw the, um, his successor, that's the governor of Kogi State, come in and then, you know, whisked him away and took him away. That's what the EFCC people were able to um, deduced from what happened and all. And so they now said that um, he whisked him away and they were not able to arrest him mm. and all. So he has gone away. They don't know where he is. He's now, he's declared wanted. <coughs> so we'll talk about, yeah, we'll talk more topic. about it on the hot yeah, topic. Thank you. Okay, so I have um, the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission on Thursday carried out an enforcement raid at supermarkets in the Federal Capital Territory of Abuja to ensure adherence to price display and quality regulations. The Executive Secretary of the Commission, Dr. Adamu, said the exercise targeted at reducing the high cost of food commodities nationwide will be extended to Lagos, Portacourt, Ibadan, Kano, Kaduna, and other cities in the coming weeks, which is good because um, for the past, for the past um, few weeks, when you go to supermarkets now, 
It's just crazy. They, they, I don't understand. They now, even, they now to, uh, took away um, the price, price tag, like a ban on everything. So you now have to, when you pick up your, uh, the item, you go tag. Go, imagine you go um, scan. You go scan. Just imagine scanning up to 50 items. So what is some? Because they purposely don't want to fix the prices. Fix the prices. Yes. They're not so, sure. Because they're not sure. Mm. Which not sure. So, they're yes. Not sure. They, they don't know what they're they doing. They yes. Sure. They, were they were sure. sure. <laughs> so they were yeah. Scared of being uh -huh. needed. Yes, so um, the, East, uh, the FCCPC boss further disclosed plans to raid some open major markets on Friday, that's today, in the FCT to checkmate the arbitrary increase in price of consumables mm -hmm. by traders. During the exercise that lasted several hours, the, FCC, uh, the FCCPC sealed for use for market, and I know that's for market, on uh, Adet Tokumbo at Demola, mm -hmm. and they evacuated 33 bags of suspected fake rice, fake hey, talon. Well. Wow. and cap price rice filled with weevils from one of the branches of the same supermarket. Wow. So there's fake rice. Weevil. Like, wow. Weevil. Yeah. So he said the food inf uh, inflation has been a recurring issue, influencing the steady increase of Nigeria's headline inflation of 33.2% and an unprecedented food inflation rate of 40% in March 2024. So the presidency has vowed that they, they have vowed to continue its campaign against racketeering, urging Nigerians to expect a stronger Naira a significant drop in the price of essential commodities, which has been elusive to them. Mm. Yes, that's so um, I'm taking the story of the fact that the Federation account rakes in over 7 trillion naira between mm. July and December 2023. Mm. The Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission RAMF, RAMFAC, that's how we call it anyway, disclosed that 7 million came in, mm. but only 5 7 trillion came in, mm. only 5.2 trillion was realized. They are advocating that the cost of collection, so we, there's a cost of collection associated with bringing these funds in, that the cost of collection by the revenue generating agencies that we have should be reviewed and tied to performance. So it is mm. based on how much money you bring in. Mm. You cannot have statutory collection, um, um, f uh, much, how much you charge as a statutory fee, regardless of what you what bring, you bring in. in. So you, it, once it's <coughs> performance-based, mm. it would encourage and increase revenue generation by um, agencies who are meant to be gen revenue generation agencies. So some of that money was taken into the excess non-oil um, accounts. Some of it was saved for the future, and a little part of it was distributed among the three tiers of government. Long and short of it is there is improvement in what we're generating, but what we are spending mm. as the mm. cost of generating mm. the funds is a lot is too a lot. high. Yeah. We need to change that model. And mm. anything that is going to help us manage, because what, right now what we're trying to do is, while we are trying to think of production, which mm. is a long-term project, mm -hmm. let us effectively manage, manage what the resources we have, that we have at yeah. the moment. I agree so. with that. Okay, let's move on now to the Daily Sun. Major headline, Defense Headquarters Exposes Terrorists, Sponsors Deadly Plots. Says they are planning to blackmail military, reveals troops, kill 192 terrorists, arrest 341, rescue 62 hostages in two weeks. Kanu, World Igbo Congress advocates political solution. DMO puts Nigeria's debt at 97 trillion. No respite for secondus, Omehia and Ogbara. Alleged 4 billion fraud. You have case to answer, court tells Obiano, ex Anambra governor. Domestic flight prices plunge to 68,000 naira amid quarter one passenger slump. Jonathan dignitaries praise late ex lawmaker Cairo Ojobo. Court halts Ganduje suspension, orders return to status quo. Federal government backs EFCC on action against Bello. Abiodu donates patrol vehicles to police, Ogun most peaceful state, according to the IGP. What stories do we have in the Daily Sun? Okay, I can take the Ogun. Uh, the governor of Ogun State, Dapo Abiodu, on Thursday unveiled surveillance drones acquired by the state to be deployed on the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. Uh, he said the drones to be operated by trained personnel of the Nigerian Police Force, Department of uh, Stata Service, and the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps would help to tackle uh, criminal activities on the highway. Uh, the governor also handed over 25 patrol vans he acquired and donated to the police in the state. He handed over the vehicles at the ceremony witnessed by the Inspector General of Police, Kayode Igbetoku, at the arcade ground governor's office. And uh, he called on the force to also include technology in, in the crime fright, um, fighting strategies that they have. He said... Um, 
uh, acquiring the drones was one of the proactive steps his administration had taken in collaboration with Lagos and Oyo states to effectively monitor activities on the Lagos Ibadan Expressway to ensure prompt response in emergency situations. I think this I'm is sure a good this one. Is a, it, it's, it's a good one. We yeah. always applaud yeah. all mm -hmm. states that decide to step up and mm -hmm. contribute to the security, yeah. Yeah. but we also need to work on our maintenance culture. This, all these vehicles that are being brought in now, five years down the line, where would they be? Five years. Yeah. Five years uh, once months. we maintain them. Once we maintain, we, yeah. we, the maintenance part is yeah. very important. Okay, okay, we'll be taking a breather now. When we come back, the newspaper reviews continue. Stay with us. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back. We're still reviewing the papers. Semeka, uh, Mamaka, are you ready? Yeah. The World Igbo Congress has called on President Bola Tinubu to embrace a political solution and release the leader of the IPOB, Nandekano, as a gesture of goodwill and step towards national healing. In a statement entitled The Case for Nandekano's Freedom, World Igbo Congress calls for political resolution based on justice, national <coughs> healing, and unity. The group urged the federal government to seek a political solution that fosters dialogue over division, justice over injustice, healing over hostility, and ultimately peace over persecution. Um, signed by the president, um, Sir Festus Okeri and Sir Chris Ogara, the group said the trial of Unam Dekano has raised profound concerns <coughs> regarding the adherence of the principles of fair trial, the equality of arms, and the right of a defendant to prepare and adequate defense. They also said that the group also urged the Nigerian government to respect a federal high court um, judgment mandating Kano's re release, highlighting the constitutional requirement to enforce such decisions nationwide. And they also went to state that um, in the past, um, 300, 313 um, detained Boko Haram terrorists that were released, you know, and um, that they were not put or held um, for so long, mm. that they were granted they were granted bail. Also, um, Hamis Subala, a.k.a. Wadumi, people that killed hundreds of innocent people. people yeah. Yes, they were still released. And the government, federal government, found the way to, you know, negotiate with those people. That Nnamdi Kalu did not kill anybody. He did not kidnap anybody. He did not ransom anybody. It, he was not violent in any way. So they are wondering why the federal government does not want to, you know, find a balance in how to resolve this issue. And that, please, that... In following the adherence of the law, that they should follow the High Court um, ruling that Nnam the Kalu should be released on bail. So I hope I hope something is done about this. We'll talk about it yesterday too. So I want to take the story from the <coughs> defense headquarters um, yesterday. The director for defense media operations, Major General Edward Buba released the fact that there's been they've uncovered some plans. Mm. These plans are by the terrorists to blackmail the military that they want to make it look like the military is attacking, the, the attacks on them, which the military claims has been successful in decimating their powers, these terrorist groups, has led to killings of civilians, that the media and the people should be aware that they are going to be releasing those informations into the media space, that innocent citizens are, are being lost to the attacks carrying, being carried out. Mm -hmm. In the past few weeks, they've, totally, they've killed about 192 bandits, arrested wow. 341. They've rescued 62 hostages. They said they were able to destroy 99 dugout pits. They were able to um, recover 36 storage tanks, 192 cooking ovens, 349 liters of stolen crude oil, 111, 112 liters of illegally refined AGU, 13,000 um, liters of PMS. They've arrested 37 oil thieves within Niger Delta, region of the country that's in that area. They also said that they've been able to successfully um, kill 192 terrorists and arrested 341 others. 62 of the kidnapped hostages were, re hostages were released and 122 
ISWAP slash JAS um, combatant terrorists surrendered with their family members at various theater operations. And mm. this is to say, this we are working, we are doing our, our best as military. They say the military is working to kill terrorism, dismantle their network, and create conditions whereby they cannot carry out their acts of terror and harm citizens again. And for this reason, the armed forces will continue to hunt down their leadership. And whenever they come with their blackmail to say that the attacks on them, the drone attacks on them, is now hurting citizens, which civilians we should be aware that that is their own way of blackmailing yeah. the military. So, yeah, but when they say, when, when, with the numbers that you're calling, these terrorists, are they like ants? It's like they, they, they keep coming out. They keep coming out. They're really a lot. They have, they have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. We, need, it, it, we need, as we are killing, we need they're to be yes. ensuring that we, we are More reducing the ability to recruit. Exactly. Mm. And come back. Do we have another story? Yes, yeah, so I have the story of the of Ganduji, a gun dollar. <laughs> <laughs> the All Progress uh, the All Progressive Congress on Thursday named nine persons who allegedly masterminded the suspension of its national chairman, Dr. Abdullahi Ganduji. These um, nine guys claimed to be party executives for the APC from Ganduji Ward in Dawakin Tofa local government. They falsely issued a statement suspending the national chairman, Dr. Umar Abdullahi Ganduji. So, and these nine persons, they named them, um, sorry, excuse me. The nine Indian. suspects listed in the petition are Awalu Jemumi, Mahadewe T, Damala Gale, Samaila Haladu, Lami Nusani, Barguma Musa, Musa Ladu, Lado Meshai, Amadu Meshai, and Umar Amarwa. The way you call the name. <laughs> so, yeah, so they were, um, so they've, um, they've arranged them, they are in court now, and they said the um, Abdullah Umar Ganduje should continue as the national chairman for APC. Mm. So, therefore, he's going to participate in the Ondo primary elections mm. coming up on Saturday. They did that so that he won't be able to participate in, participate the, in that uh, Ondo. Wow. Wow. Um, this thing, uh, election coming up. All right, now let's move on to the Vanguard. Major headline, Tinubu government hasn't borrowed from CBN, says Edu. Agitation for Yoruba Nation, laughable. Defense headquarters. Over 1,000 students, educators abducted, killed in Nigeria, according mm. to the UNICEF. Wicked triumphs as PDP, NEC, and Dossi's Damagum led NWC. Federal government places ex gov Kogi Governor Yahaya Bello on watch list. UTME jammed to arrest parents seen at CBT centers. Wow. APC court halts Ganduje's suspension. Federal government will pay 3.2 trillion as subsidy if tariff hike is reversed. Poor production. All minister CDS vow to curb all theft in Niger Delta. Crystal Palace set eyes on Lukman to beef up squad. What stories do we have in the vanguard? Okay, so, went? yes, so um, JAM, uh, students have started writing JAM, and they have something to say about that. Uh, any They said they don't want any parents or guardian to be seen at um, any computer-based test center during the JAM um, examination, which is starting on Friday. Anybody, any parent or guardian that is seen there will be arrested. Mm. Um, and I'm wondering why, but um, Professor Isaac Oloyede, who is the who is the Registrar of the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board, stated that most times parents come there to disrupt the activities of the examination. Mm -hmm. Sometimes um, people, uh, 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 people come and disguise as parents, mm -hmm. you know, to sell... To give them examination. Yeah, as, uh, yeah to give them exam quiz and um, answers, answers yeah. you know, and then to start um, uh, enforcing the exam practice. So they don't want anybody. Well, if you register for the exam as a student, you come, you sit down, don't come with anybody. Nobody should escort you, no parents, uh -huh. no guardian. <laughs> Just come. Or if they come, if they drop you, they you go. enter, they go. Yes. Mm -hmm. When it's time, they come and pick you. They don't want people loitering around. They don't want anything that's going to cause exam and practice yeah. or you're talking to somebody and everything. Yeah. So they said, even that because even parents are trying to do so that. our children of nowadays sure. that we cannot even leave for how many minutes? Oh, yes. Yes. No, you let them leave them now. I'm happy with Jam. Jam has really tried. And but it is, yes, mm -hmm. they really You can't even. Yes. Exam and practice is not possible. Yes. Because your paper is type A, another person's only is type, type B. B. Yes. So if the person should be telling you A, B, it, 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 it's something A, B, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah. and then they're they saying that they want, like, for you to write Jam now, you must attain the age of 17. Bagam. Yes. So that's a good one. Any other stories in the bank? Yes. Definitely. Um, sad story, though. Um, mm. 
the UNICEF, the United Nations Children Fund, yesterday came up with a report that was carried out by the Global Coalition to Protect Education from Attack, GCPEE. It said that about a thousand children, a thousand students, all educators have been abducted, killed, mm. or armed in Nigeria, mainly wow. within the Northeast area, that the Northeast records the highest number of students and teachers being armed. Um, they mentioned that even though the president had signed the safe school declaration in 2015 by the former president, um, Mohammed Buhari, that the, 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 that is directed to save the schools, but we're not seeing the implementation. The minimum standard safe schools um, project hasn't been fully um, implemented that based on the commitment that UNICEF has. UNICEF is co-leading both the inter-ministerial committees on safe school and is saddled with the task of rolling out the implementation of safe, safe school around Nigeria. UNICEF also is committed that um, they will support the government of Nigeria in the first phase there will be about 14 states to be fully, that will fully domesticate the Safe School Initiative. And um, the Permanent Secretary for Benue State's Ministry of Education and um, Knowledge Management has commended UNICEF for the interventions and the collaborations with, their, with the states, and they're looking forward to seeing the implementation. I'm, I'm excited about the fact that we're talking about this, but let's beyond talking about it, we, shouldn't, we should never have to hear that students go to school mm -hmm. and then they, I mean, going to school, parents are more worried about sending their children to school than keeping mm -hmm. them in the house. It, it, it's, it's really wrong. And teachers yeah. also should be there, Corey, because mm -hmm. same way they kidnap students, they kidnap, they kidnap teachers, the teachers as too. well. Yeah. So when you see wouldn't... something, say something. That's mm -hmm. just it. Even kids. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, ladies. That's all we can take on the newspaper reviews. When we come back, we go on to our hot topic. Stay with us. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has declared former Kogi State Governor Yahaya Bello wanted an alleged money laundry charges to the tune of $80.2 billion. The anti graft agency is appealing to the society for any information about his whereabouts to report to the nearest police station or the commission. What are your thoughts on this? You can join the conversation and call us on 081-076-41679 and 0902-416-3440. You can tweet to us at TVC Connect using the Your View hashtag on TVC. Hmm. So we saw the... Genke movie mm -hmm. that happened. <laughs> EFCC came to catch the mm -hmm. Bello mm -hmm. and they battled for over and seven Abra hours. Abra Abracadabra was happening for over seven just hours. Car. And then and the disappeared. And governor he came whoosh. and whisked him away. <laughs> gang, 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 gang. Mm -hmm. And then everybody's looking he for him. For him. What, what are is he running to? Why is he running? Say, why are you running? He's not even in, he's not yet proven guilty. As a former he's still innocent. So they just want him to come so that they can mm -hmm. question him. Mm -hmm. That's all. You know we're in school together. He, oh. uh, he's an alumni of ABU. Mm, wow. yeah, he's 48 years old or 49 thereabouts. Mm. He studied accounting. We're in the same campus mm -hmm. with him. Mm -hmm. Where he was, at, I, we, I entered 98. He, was, he graduated in 1999. Mm -hmm. you know? So when he was elected as Kogi State Governor, we're so happy because, you know, he was a very, very smart guy in school, you know, a, you know, GP, very good CGP and all. And when he was elected governor, we were so happy. We were like, ah, Kogi State is going to be the new London mm. and all. And then he got to the government and then we didn't just understand what was going on. Mm. He has a panel. He has this um, panel that people, you know, he set it up so that people can call him to order if he case. They've been calling him to order, telling him do something for this state, do something. He did some things, but not as much as we expected as by a young governor mm -hmm. and all. So he was, he's been there you know, for eight years. Not much has happened to the state, mm. honestly speaking. So the Kogi state indigenous, they are disappointed. They are angry. They are, in fact, they are not happy with him. 
and then his successor now came. This was the one they are now saying that he's the one that even you put, know, him, put there. him there. No. Mm. But we can't say that so they will let a hair. Yeah. So he came okay. and then, you know. Now EFCC has come and said, come, come and give account of the, yeah, it's, there's three yeah. counts on him. Mm. Come and give um, this thing of, you know, the 80.2 billion. It, has, it even has Kubo. <laughs> yeah. So he stole Kubo too. <laughs> so come, give no, account. Don't judge him yet, you don't know. Yes, I don't know, sorry. <laughs> Alleged. So, Alleged. Uh, Kubo. Uh -huh. Kubo. So, Come out, come and say you are not. You didn't, you know, you didn't take this money and mm. exonerate yourself instead of running up and where are you running to? Mm. You are embarrassing yourself. Mm. You are embarrassing yourself and you are embarrassing the state. Mm. Yeah. What are your thoughts, Amaka? Okay, so I I totally <coughs> agree with you that nothing has ha happened in Kogi State, especially for a young governor. Right? Mm -hmm. They keep saying um, uh, uh, that they should let the younger people. Have an opportunity. Have an opportunity. And then they had to lead. And then he did that. So that means if he's 48, 49, that means he got into power and he was there for eight years. That means he got into power. Miss really early 40s, yeah. Early yeah, 40s. 40s. So you would expect the better goodness. from someone like him. Because I actually went to Kogi State um, two years ago to for Natasha Abotis' um, mm. um, wedding, right? And I was really disappointed in this. I'm wondering, like, as in, I, I, is this are Nigeria? The people, are, the people are hungry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, as they don't have Mr. Biggs. I oh, they, as they don't even have a, a good her god. E tree. Oh my goodness. Is a state we're looking for where to eat. Government. Yeah, we're looking for where to eat. Nothing. And I'm wondering like uh, the, the state like this is mm -hmm. in this Nigeria. The yes. people are hungry, impoverished. Wow. Do you understand? So I couldn't believe that a young um, governor actually did it. So yes, he should come and answer for that money because I can't even believe that that state even had that kind that of, amount money. of money. Mm. And then nothing happened. But then during the elections, he could use money to scatter roads and break the roads that they, that they, the small roads that they even exactly. had. So even scatter the, imagine, to even, <laughs> please, you should come and answer. Should Why are you embarrassing on. yourself? Why are you running? Stop running. They said alleged. Come and answer. Mm. Eh? Uh, hey, Oga. <laughs> I'm sure that when you were in office, that's why you were uh, holding people to, to come and answer. Uh, to come and answer. Yeah. Come and answer. <laughs> that's it. Um, I, don't, I don't think you will run if you have nothing to hide. Mm. You would only mm. run when you have something to hide. And it is an embarrassment. Mm. You know, it's, this is an embarrassment to the state. Mm. It's an embarrassment to his person and everybody he represents. Mm -hmm. um, there, there are other governors that have been called and they just approach, mm -hmm. explain yourself, leave. The fact that you are running already makes you extremely, it, you, your, your, the suspicion is now being confirmed that there must be some truth to what you are, mm. why you are hiding. Mm. Then please help me ask, how can a sitting governor be conniving yeah. to withhold someone from the law? Mm. So even if he is your godfather, or let's say he's your mm. mentor, or he was your predecessor. Mm. He put you there. He put exactly. you there. He gave you the opportunity. He took you from anywhere to put you on a pedestal. Mm -hmm. If the person, you cannot, you, the, your actions, because you have immunity, mm. does not mean that the, the cane is still waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Because the case that you have, what you have done, your accessory to the fact, mm -hmm. we will, they will come back and meet you after the four years or eight years if you stay there for exactly. eight years. Mm. Then the people of Kogi State, the, what, which water did they give you to drink? Mm. Because I don't shop. understand. Mm. The entire, an entire state that has lecturers, professors, brilliant people inside that say, is, every, is, mm. water, is it the same? Do people drink a water that is shutting your mouth? Wow. Your brains? Mm. To they be have able to address the issue. Mm -hmm. They are talking and they are talking like they my in laws. Uh, my uh, in laws, the of the Edo people. Uh, they will have shut they will down will show the up <laughs> because it is important. We, cannot, we can't continue to say it is mm. until the government, until people. You, they voted even at the point of after immediately after the election when your governor came in and your governor said that I am not the governor, that mm. anything that um, the former governor says is is the one that is still go. At, at that point in time, Thanks. you know you are in crisis. Yes. Yeah. Then the entire state assembly did not do anything. Then the people of the state now sat down. Even you don't need. It's about taking responsibility. Mm. Somebody needs to take responsibility mm. for the growth of Kogi State. Mm. If the leadership are not doing mm. what they are meant to do, yes. then the people will say, we want a better mm. structure in yeah. our state. Mm. That is, as in like, <coughs> this is different from Yahya Belo. Yahya Belo's conversation is about him facing the law. The law yeah. It's about him not running, mm. not playing this funny chess game that did not put a picture of him wanted. Mm. He, there are plenty of controversies around him. Yeah. Plenty. Plenty. Of, that no, is going let's to let's take for. this call. We have Ibrahim from Kaduna on the line. Good morning, Ibrahim. Abdurrahim. Abdurrahim. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Good morning. Good morning. 
So I want to speak on the issue of uh, uh, governor, former governor of uh, Kobe State. Hello. We can hear you. You're live. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, based on the issue on ground, as far as I'm concerned, I would like the governor to just come out, be his uh, excellence that he used to be, and and be honorable enough to present himself at the EFCC. Why is he running to? If they invite you to EFCC, it's not the end of the road. That is not the end of the case. Present yourself, and you should start running like a, like a, a criminal already. Running away from the EFCC, from being a representative at the EFCC, is at least assuming to be even guilty of the alleged uh, uh, allegation. So let him come out. And the incumbent governor, too, to stay away from the incident so that he can stay clear of what, whatever they want to investigate him about. So that is just my own submission on this issue. Let him come out instead of embarrassing himself or hiding and disgracing himself. Thank you very much, uh, Abdurrahim. Um, I, I like what he said. If you're not guilty, mm. you won't have any cause to Run. be running. Mm. And this brings my mind back to the issue of loyalty in politics. Mm. You know, sometimes when some of these governors are about to leave mm. and we see that they want to handpick the next person. Yeah. Now I'm seeing the reason that they want to do that. So that yeah. if anything happens, the next person who becomes the incumbent will be there to sort of protect them. But I'm asking, is there anything in the constitution, I don't know if we're going to get maybe like on Monday, yes. we'll get someone to help us dissect this matter mm. that would prevent the incumbent from playing this role that he just played because he's just so messy. And right now he has immunity. I don't think he can be questioned. But what do you think about this particular role that he played before we even move into okay, Yahya so so I am um, so uh, it's a personal choice and decision that he has made, right? And then um, because he knows that he can't be persecuted for it because he has immunity. But like um, she said, um, let if, me pause you okay. so I can hear everything you have to say. Uh, we have Francis from Abuja. Good morning, Francis. Good morning. This is this is quite quite interesting. It is so disgusting seeing someone like Yaya Bello running away from the FCC. It's something that I can't imagine. Honestly, like Tokpe said earlier, and the first lady that spoke about Kogi State, Kogi State border with the southwest, the north, and the southeast. It's, yes. a, it's a very large state. If you go through Kogi State, you will discover nothing reasonable has ever changed since Yaya Bello came. Insecurity in Kogi State is worse than that of Kaduna Adeni. Right. Kidnapping in Okene area. I witnessed that when the first came in 2016. I almost lost my life in that, that same Kogi state. In short, our driver was shot in the eyes. I was coming to Lagos. It was a terrible situation. Insecurity in Kogi state is worse than that of Kaduna and Benway state. I'm telling you this. Nobody reports it. I don't understand. Maybe media is not even, our media is not even channeling their satellites in that area. Secondly, I want to say something. What, like what BC just said earlier, that a governor handpicking the next governor that will succeed in is a potent danger to Nigeria democracy. You can see what is happening in River State and Koki State uh, presently. Why will a sitting governor who has immunity be protecting someone who has been accused by security agency? They are even looking for him. The governor went there to, to whisk him away. This is proposal and against the ethics of the, the, the reason why immunity was given to the governor, Kogi border Abuja, if you are coming from Lokoja to Abuja, if the road is an eyesore, the only road that I know so far passing through Abuja, uh, passing through Kogi State, is Obajana, Obajana Kaba Road and Obajana uh, Lokoja Road. That road that was done with uh, uh, this um, uh, cement, that is the only reasonable road in Kogi State. If you go through, you will discover that Yaya Bello done, done nothing throughout his eight years. He was just a, Imagine what happened in 2019 when that lady was born in a house. That one of PDP lady who was born in a house and till today, till today, nothing happened. Yaya Bello did that and just got free. That was why Dima Melayi was very. Thank you. 
Yes. Look, like, yeah, because, like, yeah, because like, uh, uh, let me debate a bit about what you just said about the lady and about what you said that um, did they drink? Is, uh, did they all drink one kind of water? <laughs> Why they are not speaking up? So you have people like Honorable Natasha speaking up and fighting, mm -hmm. and we can all see what happened to, happened her, to her during the last election. You know, she, it was they, bad. It was bad, Very and they nearly took her life for speaking out, right? But then she's just one person in the whole of Kogi state. Yeah. More people need to stand to up, to, yeah, and, and they need to speak up and stand up to bad governance. Mm -hmm. Because like you said, okay, like, like, you, like, like I, I was answering you, right? That what will happen to the um, current governor that did that? Okay, so he, he, he made a personal decision and a choice to do that. But then if Yaya Bello is ever persecuted, right, for this um, crime, crime. For, for the crime, mm -hmm. After eight years now, he's not, he's not, I don't think he's going to, after four, eight years, he's not going to be governor for life now. Mm. They will still come That is an accessory to that crime. Mm. So he, would, he still has to come and answer. Mm. See what is happening because with For obstruction of, of justice. See, because the, there's another governor, because he did not unpick the next, the person that took, that is in the go government back. now. Yeah. Mm. The, what happened how many years back? Mm. They are trying, mm -hmm. they're they are not bringing it up mm. and investigating it. Mm -hmm. It means that you can, no matter how far you run, yes. they say the, a lie can run for 20 years. Mm. It's just one day that the truth, truth will catch up with yes. it. So the present governor mm. was his auditor when Yaya Bello was the governor. Mm. It was Yaya Bello's auditor. Mm. Yaya Bello has killed the dreams of a lot of young politicians. Mm. Because now any young politician that comes out, mm. everybody says, we don't want any young person. Look at example, Yaya Bello, he's not doing anything in his mm. state. Mm. We don't want any young person at all. Mm. Ronnie, and they say he's a lion. Mm. They describe him as a lion. Mm -hmm. I am not the yeah, yeah, lion now. Oh, yeah, what Come out out has <laughs> come to take off into the exactly. forest. Exactly. They say now he's now he's not my lion. He's now a cat. He's a cat. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Should, Should come out. All right. At this point, we'll take a short break. When we come back, we probably find solutions and wrap up on the conversation. Stay with us. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We'll be wrapping up on the Yahya Bello issue right now. And um, it just seems like um, the incumbent governor and even the people, because we heard that the operatives, the uh, police people who were protecting him also defended him from being picked up by the EFCC. So it seems to me like uh, Nigerians just find a way of protecting fugitives mm. and protecting people who are back in for Wadume. Mm. Yes. The same, see mm. how Wadume mm. came back after being in prison and he was celebrated. Even, be even before he even left. Even before he left. Him. They mm. keep protecting. So on one hand, we want a Nigeria that works, where people are held accountable mm. for their crimes. On the other hand, we are still the same people that go and protect them once they have any affiliation to us. Mm. How do we um, end this in such a way that we are neutral? When you have mm. committed a crime, you have committed a crime, you allow the law to take its course so that we can move forward as a nation. Or else we'll just be going round and round mm. in circles. Okay, so, so for me... I think W I what I would say is, now for us to be able to mm -hmm. now start holding our governors accountable. Mm. Okay. All that every time, federal government, the president, the president, it's time to start holding our governors accountable. Hold your governor accountable, hold your local, gov uh, local government chairman mm -hmm. accountable mm. if you want your state to progress or move forward. So I like what's happening. I like the fact that the Aya Bello, this, this will be like an example to all the other governors as That's well. That's if we finally catch him. But we have this call, Tony from Ibeju Leki. Good morning, Tony. Good morning. Good morning, ladies. Today, I know that you ladies are very strong and very, very convincing. Now, look at the opinion you are setting in. It is very, very, very correct and in the right direction. But I don't think the other of your colleagues, they, they see all these things. They don't want that video to be captured to go and answer to his clients. They don't want Bello to answer. I'm talking of the journalist hangout. Why do they differ from the realities of the country? 
I'm trying to understand. Are you making he's a comment referring, on this? He's referring to okay. our show today. Okay. I'm probably connecting it with something they said on Journalist Handout oh, yesterday. Oh, okay. I didn't But sadly, that. we did not watch, we so we don't know. That. Oh, mm -hmm. thank you. When you contribute, just deal with the one that we are, we talking, are talking about, about right now. Right. I'm of the opinion mm -hmm. that the way democracy is structured, democracy is structured as the government of the, the people, people, by the people. By the people. The and people. for so, the people. Obviously, mm -hmm. the people of Kogi State are pleased and they have chosen the government that is serving them. It has served them since the state was created. It has served them to where they are now with the potential that Kogi State has, which is largely untapped. And they keep choosing leaders by themselves that do not have the time or the intention to put the growth they need within that state. It is the people that have decided. And the people would, when they wake up, it is their money. They choose how they want to go. Also, I want to talk about the weaponized poverty. Mm. When poverty is weaponized the way it is weaponized in Nigeria, mm. it is when you have eaten and you're comfortable, you are, you are not hungry, you will start looking at what the government is doing wrong. Mm. You will start saying, that road, they did not do it well. Mm. You will start saying, my neighbor stole streetlights. When you are hungry, mm. your focus you is on... Things. You can't mm. see yeah. anything. Exactly. Mm. Because poverty has been so entrenched in majority of our uh, um, non-developed mm. states. Mm. Everybody, they're just thinking, oh, let me farm, let me eat. Mm. Mm. I don't have time for gov governor. Wait till consign me, consign hospital. Let me just eat. So the poverty challenge, mm. the, gov the, democ the democratic system that we have that is just focused on, oh, this is what they chose by themselves. Mm. Why can't the federal government say, what is going on here? Because we had a president that was seemingly overbearing, like the former president, Obasanjo, mm. who was going into states to yeah, say, so what yeah. was what's going on? What's, huh? what's yeah. going on yes. in the states? Yeah. Mm. For us, our democracy is not that strong enough that we can entrust, Maria says it all the time, mm. that we can entrust people to just choose who they want to choose. Mm. So. There must be a level of influence because mm. if people are not educated, they will make they a choice, know. they will make from the choice given to them. Exactly. But if you empower them, and as it is right now, it doesn't yes. serve yes, the state for the people them. to be empowered. Yeah. Because if they are, the more empowered they are, mm -hmm. Natasha the is making noise because you. Natasha went to school. Natasha is not hungry. Yes. Mm. If Natasha is hungry, she will not be making noise and At shouting for, and defending her people. people. So yes. we need to get more people out of that poverty um, mm -hmm. um, bracket, bracket so that people are no longer un 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 so hungry mm -hmm. that they they give me the speak. rights, I will vote for you. And I will sell my future. And I will sell my future regardless. Let's take this call, Olaide from Ibadan. Good morning, Olaide. Sorry, we lost that. Yeah, so, yeah, so um, like, like she said, like she mentioned, right, um, why should a sitting um, governor be harboring a fugitive? That should be, a, 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 we should, that should be worrisome to everybody, especially the people of Kogi State. And then tomorrow again, when election comes, you go and uh, vote, vote in that type of governor mm. that is harboring a fugitive. Now, Nasabio, and you said bad governance, nothing is happening. Mm. Now you have that choice. You should know better. And then, uh, secondly, where you asked the question, you said that why, um, uh, why did these things happen? It's happening because people, Ojukukuru, longer truth. Mm. If your brother, sister, uh, uh, cousin is the governor, and then you don't follow, they chop the money, when did they look for the person now? You will not want to point out that this person is inside here, or that person should go and answer for it, because mm. you follow, chop the money. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. Hey, they, they spread the thing. So that's the people, that's why they can have talks, they can have people harboring him because you can't tell me that uh, at least 50 or 100 people don't know these guys' whereabouts. Yeah, nobody not has speak, seen him. And they're not they speaking nobody up. Mm. Why are they anyway, not speaking up? They let's understand. Let's take this call. Muritala from sure. Ikorudu. Good morning, Muritala. Good morning. Please, uh, my own contribution to this uh, stuff is that it, it's completely unfortunate that, you know, we've been talking about youth representation. This is what we're going to get from this from, from this uh, so-called youth. So I like what uh, one of your one of your uh, uh, in, in the studio was, was talking about. See, this guy has destroyed it. It's unfortunate. Youth, you come in, uh, by, by treasury, something here, thirty years, forty years. So this is what we're getting. He has destroyed uh, by, by that 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 uh, mindset of you should be in governance. And before I want to uh, give uh, this uh, is very. Big thank you to Mr. President. I'm talking about Bola Hamid, but I'm one of his supporters. But I never thought, and I never believed that a man who was part of that government, who actually brought this government into, into, into play, can be tried like this. Uh, no, I mean, it's a thumbs up for Mr. President, as well as Bola Hamid. You know, we need more of this. Thank you.
So um, we know now that um, the youths have a responsibility to ensure that when they get hold of power, mm -hmm. they are not doing the same things that they have condemned mm -hmm. our elders mm -hmm. for doing. Mm -hmm. They are setting a precedent. They are doing things differently. They are changing the world. We actually have more youths in the country. And yeah. we have been appealing and saying we need more representation of the youth so that things can be better. We cannot be seen to be doing the same things that we are condemning. That's one. Also, we need to find a way to strengthen our democracy. Maybe our constitution needs to be reviewed mm -hmm. in such a way that people cannot just do things and get away with it. My question would be, uh, he has been missing now, or he has escaped, or whatever, and people are looking for him. I don't want to know. I don't want to believe that people have not seen him. Ah. Where he's lodged, whether he has traveled or escaped from the country, mm -hmm. I don't want to believe that he passed or noticed, or did he dress like a woman, one, one, and one, then one. escaped. Mm -hmm. But we need to do better as a nation, and I believe that we're going to keep following on the story. Hopefully next week, something else will break more details. about it we have more details and then we talk about it but let's take a short break now when we come back we move on to yet another topic stay with us stay tuned your view will be right back Thanks for staying with us. So we saw a story on social media that caught our attention. It was actually Anima, one of us, who posted it on her page. And it, it, there was a video that just showed a boy who was doing, a young man who was doing his, uh, about to celebrate his birthday and cut his cake. And then he was having an altercation with the girlfriend, supposed girlfriend, who was insisting that she would be present to... In the, video. Uh, in the video, present to cut the cake in the video. Uh, we're also told that it was a skit, but we're going to be taking the lessons behind it. It was like a fight mm. that you know, went on because he, she was insisting on being present. And then we later heard that there was another girl that was brought in, maybe mm. another girlfriend that was brought in with another cake who probably wanted to be in the picture. Mm. And that resulted to the fight. But I would like to have a proper understanding of the story. I, mean, I don't even think it was a skit. I feel like the skit mm. thing was a cover-up for mm. what happened because the, the celebrant is a comedian mm. and he does skits. Okay. So... A, a moment that was not meant to be captured was captured. captured. Mm. Oh, there was backlash. Then they mm. came out and said it was a skit. Mm. Mm. The, and inside the skit, the skit yeah. was that you are trying to cut your birthday cake mm. and you are pushing your girlfriend away and mm. your girlfriend did not agree and then you carried the cake and slammed, slammed her, her face and smacked her mm. because you want to do a skit. Or because it didn't look like a skit no, to like me. Skit, yeah. um, so... Let me say, let, I, would wear, we would, I would wear the hat that is, it's not a skit, and I would wear the hat that is a skit. In the, in the case <laughs> that it's not a skit, we need to teach children, people need to know their value. Your, sure. a, 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 the, your value is not attached to the relationship that you have. Relationships would come and go. Marriage come and go. Parenting come and go, Seth. Yes, so. Parenting come and go. You, you must know the, your value as an individual so that you are not living and expecting validation I want to be around the, for the person's birthday cake. If, I didn't, if, he, if he said I should not be in his birthday cake, I will walk in it because I know mm -hmm. who I am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, will, I know who I am. I don't, you, you don't, I, I don't want to, uh, you cannot embarrass me like that. I know, what, I know what the value I carry. I know that if I'm, I'm in a relationship with you, I'm adding value to that relationship. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, your, I'm not a parasite in the relationship mm -hmm. and you, I won't be treated as such. So if you talk to me anyhow, mm -hmm. I'll simply carry my self-respecting self, self mm -hmm. and move out of a <coughs> circumstance where I can be embarrassed. Mba, I'm not going to stay there. Mm -hmm. Now let's even say it's a skit. Why is the skit or why why is the skit involving you slapping a woman? Yeah, domestic I'm just asking. violence. Mm. I'm just asking. Even if domestic because violence happens in real life, mm. your skit shows the slapping. Your skit does not show the result of the slapping that you mm. were arrested or something mm. happened to you. It was not a complete yeah. story. story. Yeah. If you are telling stories that is disempowering women, we will mm. start calling you out, out, even if you call it a skit. It doesn't make any sense. Exactly. I feel like what we do movies, I've seen some movies mm. and I'm like, who, who wrote this script? Mm. What's Why the are you writing a script mm -hmm. that is disempowering a woman? Mm -hmm. The woman was a prostitute she slept to get the job at the end of the day she was not crying mm -hmm. i'm like why 
are you writing this? Yes. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Mm. So whether it is a skit or it is not a skit, whether it is true mm. like it is not true like, the point I am making is mm. we are we are make, we're normalizing what should not be normal. Mm. Some woman outside there, one man outside there, is collecting slap and yes, collecting so. beating in a relationship you're not even married. Mm. You're not committed to that relationship. Ah. Stop it. Open your mm. eyes and borrow yourself brain. Yeah. Especially with a knife. The girl was watching. Yeah, 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 I was shocked. Yes. I, was I was even wondering, yes. like, I was watching. I was yes. really scared. The boy was oh, both. And, and, and from and from what we heard, uh, yes, and from what we heard, that she's actually the guy's baby mama. Mm. So how oh, do wow. I even have a child for you and you abuse me in that manner in front of your friends? Ew. Like you know. But then, well, why do I even want to invite myself to to cut your cake with you if I'm not invited? If I have hey. a man, if I'm with a, if I have a man and then it's his birthday, I won't even. It's your birthday. Cut your cake yourself. If you now tell me, oh, baby, come and you invite me in. Let's do it together. And if you don't invite me in, it's okay. It's your birthday. Cut your cake. So why would I be forcing myself? I must be there. I am girlfriend. They must recognize that I'm the girlfriend number one. You're even trying <laughs> dragging girlfriend number one, girlfriend number two, baby mama. So for, for me, like you said, mm. if this was a skit and a skit is promoting um, stuff like this, like abuse, you know, wrong. yeah, this is it's wrong because it's um, healthy, yes, it's not a healthy uh, relationship. It's not a healthy content. I don't know what you're trying to project to the general public that it's okay for men to beat up women or abuse women or talk down on women. And for the woman and for women out there, you should you know know who you are, you know um, your value, self respect, self love. Because if you love yourself as a woman ah. and you know who you are, you won't let somebody, whether man or woman, treat you in such manner. Yeah. Yes. Ramatum. Please learn to, um, women should learn to walk away from a relationship that are not being valued. Obviously, in that video, she was not valued. If she was valued, what's there? She would just stand by the cake. She's not eating the cake or anything, mm. if that's what she's scared of. Mm. She just wants to stand by you, this guy and my guy. Mm. Let me cut the cake. <laughs> it's you. But the guy is saying, no, I don't want you to stay. <coughs> Carry yourself and move away from there. I'm going to sit down and cross your leg. Mm. You know, like a lady that you should be. Instead of, you know, because I was really scared. The way she held that knife, I was like, I hope you will not connect it and stab her. Mm. Or she will not even react. I was thinking she yeah, would be the one she might yeah. just you know, do that. So yeah, this nice. kind of a thing. And at the end of the day, if it happens, is sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm. You, yes, you go down, you will have don't gone. Go you don't, hell. exactly. So at the end of the day, women. Yeah, but do you think that um, when you allow yourself to be a baby mama without marriage, that you have mm. lost the right to be valued? We have cultures here. You know, growing up, uh, there were things that were seen as taboo. Mm -hmm. You dare not bring Bele home. You mm -hmm. They're not born you well. You, you bring Bele, and, and there's no ring on your mm -hmm. finger. You know, and that sort of preserved us growing up. We knew that we could not do nonsense. Mm -hmm. We knew that we, cannot, we could not just, um, you know, meet a guy and then allow the guy to do whatever they want to do with you because you, have a, you came from a home. But if you allow yourself to a point where you are now betting for a man who has not put a ring on that finger, mm. do you still have a right to be looking for value? They've okay. devalued you already. Mm. So, so I'm, sorry, you want to go? Can we come back okay. from that? Yes. yes. So, us, so I beg to differ. And why is that? Because there's a question. I asked. The okay, question. okay. It's a question. Yeah. So yeah. So um, I don't think so uh, because in life uh, uh, people are faced with different circumstances mm. and situations, right? Uh, and most times um, certain things are not planned for. And sometimes people just plan for certain things, and that's their choice, and that's their decision. You know, uh, we're evolving, and we're evolving, and this is 2024, where people might want to have a child by themselves, people might want to, you know, not have a partner, or people might want to be a second wife. You know, things, people, everybody's entitled to their own choice mm. and decision, okay? Yeah. That does not devalue um, you as a woman, mm. and it doesn't give anybody the right to disrespect you. Mm. A mother is a mother regardless of. Mm. Okay, let me take this call. I'll still come back to you because you ex help me understand mm. how to come back from that, okay. how to regain your value if that sort of thing happens okay. to you. We have Affinity from Taraba State. Good morning, Affinity. Good morning, man. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm a first-time caller. Welcome, Welcome to the show. Thank you. I, we want to correct something concerning the Nambikano case that you could to before. Let me just keep in something. Can I? Go ahead. Yeah, okay. Uh, the other lady was talking about how they released some Boko Haram and also some that guy from EB. The thing is this. It... Hello? 
Mm. We've lost. Yeah, we lost the call. Yes. So how do if life happens to you, mm. right? And there's a mistake, mm. and you have a child out of wedlock, right? And you're no longer, for instance, okay, you are still with the man, mm. and you're hoping to have more children. You know why I'm asking this question? Because I know there are some young girls that they just want to, they like you, mm. and they just want to birth for you. Mm. They don't care whether you treat them right. Mm. They don't care whether you marry them. Mm. They just want to have, you know, how they target some celebrity and say, I just want to have a child for this person. Mm. How do you get your value from that when you have already thrown yourself okay. as far as I'm okay. concerned? Okay, so, so, so um, I'm going to t answer this from two perspectives. The first one is, you know, um, upbringing, mm -hmm. okay? If you have a good upbringing, you're not going to betray yourself at anybody to just go have, instead of going to school, going to add value to yourself, going to uh, think about what you want to do for your life and your future. Your own thoughts is just to, oh, I like this person, mm. this celebrity, I target this man, I target this billionaire, mm. let me just have a child. If that's your mindset, then I should be worried about your value system, yeah. where you're coming from, and your upbringing, <laughs> right? But then now, let's talk about the other aspect, where you're in a situation, and then this happens. Um, you also, um, if, there's a huge factor in, 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 in answering this question. It has to do with what kind of man are you choosing for yourself as a woman? Mm. So when I see pe um, some people in, there's some people that are in abusive relationships where they can't do anything about it. Maybe the man pretended while he was cutting them. Yeah. And then they got into that situation and the man changed and became a different person and became a monster. Mm. So let's put that aside. Then you, you, you met a man, you're so in awe of the man. You can see the man has bad character and bad behavior. You can see that the man has tendencies to be violent. Yeah, to hit you. They disrespect you, and you still decide to choose that person. The onus is on you as a human being. That means if you don't love yourself, if you don't value yourself, how do you expect somebody else to give you that? Mm. Except you choose a good man in a situation where, even when you don't have value for yourself, even when you helps don't have you build it still it. helps you build it because mm. there are such men out there, right? <laughs> But the onus is always on you. It's your choice. It's your decision. Nobody is forcing you to do anything. Nobody is forcing you to make those choices. Nobody is forcing you to carry the belly. Nobody is forcing you to burn Peking. It's all about you. So we need to train young women, mm. train our daughters to be better, to do yeah. better, and to really know that, you see, you, you have the same, um, the same uh, opportunities as the man. So try to love yourself. Thank you. <laughs> Let's take this call. Baba Tunde from Kano. Good morning, Baba Tunde. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, your life. Good morning. All the ladies in the house. So I think this is the first time caller from Canada. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Uh, actually, I, I enjoy the program. Uh, and I actually love uh, this other lady. I, I, I love her contribution. I love the way he's going around with the question. I love it. You see, the whole thing, let's look at it in this perspective. Not necessarily maybe in relationship with like boyfriend, girlfriend. Sometimes we might even look at it from our everyday also. The value system, why we get ourselves into this position is because of the value system. Even whether boyfriend or girlfriend, or sometimes you are just fooling around, you are looking for a place to manage. Sometimes you see the employee employer relationship and the way they give you feedback. You know that it's either whether societal value or individual value. It's not necessarily about whether somebody who is. I could see my own this little life. Maybe somebody pick a prostitute. But because the value system is there, you can turn people around. And I've seen a marriage where the wife turned the man around. People, let's look at some of those are politicians when they meet. They are nobody. Let's get it right. It is not when our own is rosy, everything is good. We begin to divide the value system on air. Sometimes when you see the whole thing that is going on, sign the thing. You see that people are committed, people are giving a lot. So the young man that actually slap or what is going on, whether politicians or you're too young to run, or people that is the value system. Mm. And we have a lot to do in this country to change the orientation about our value system. Yeah. Whether some of those young guys who are going to politicians, is it in here, is he running around hiding everywhere? Is the value system. If you don't have anything to hide, why must you be running up and down? Why? If you don't have anything to hide, why must you be taking it? That's the point. Thank so, you so much, Baba Chunde. Thank you. I like that. I liked your question. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. Your question about um, <coughs> being a single, getting pregnant. Baby mama. Baby mama, the respect for a baby mama. Mm. Um, well, the world is changing, mm. like it or not. We're moving to this place where be being a baby mama is now... Trendy. Is now normal. Mm. Baby mamas are getting taken care of, you know, people would... Especially with within this social media space, mm -hmm. artists, actors, mm -hmm. um, content creators, they now have one or two baby mamas, and a sort of 
put it out there like we take care of our mm, we take care of our children and we take care of our and and <coughs> we're beginning to normalize what was seen as a taboo mm. um mistakes happen life happens to people mm. you might not plan to be a baby mama and a mistake happened and you become a baby mama it doesn't define your life mm. you can <coughs> be you can be a single mother and not be a baby mama because a baby mama means that you are living off this 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 baby that you have given birth to. Mm. I have given birth to a baby to someone who is affluent, who is who is influential, because I can then live off, off the person the person's proceeds of taking care of my baby. Mm. I can be a single mother, not necessarily a baby mama. Somebody can say, "Oh, life has happened to me. I'm a mother, but I am not going to build my life around this baby. I am going to still be." an amazing woman, a great mother, I'm currently not a wife, you can still live a fulfilling life, respecting yourself, adding mm. value to the society, solving problems <coughs> with society, building businesses, mm. employing people, even though you're a single mother. Yeah. Yes, it is seen as a taboo, but we realize that that taboo culture caused people to carry out even more sin. Yeah. A, there was a lot of abortion, there was yeah. a lot of throwing away babies mm. because they were trying to avoid the embarrassment. Mm. So let's remove the stigma and the embarrassment. Mm -hmm. Let's remove the shame that we put upon being a single mother mm -hmm. and deal with the fact that you are, you are a woman, you have a child, respect mm -hmm. yourself, love yourself, mm -hmm. carry yourself, yourself start, move on. Yeah. Life has happened to you. People, mm -hmm. Life happens to other people too. Mm -hmm. It's in different ways. Mm -hmm. Men go through their own stuff too. Your own is just that. Pick your yourself own result. up. Exactly. Pick yourself up. And wash know. yourself up. <laughs> like you know, say, wash your bottle. Shine it very well, enter the market, yeah. and you will do well. I'm talking so background matters as well, mm. you know, background where you're coming from yeah. and also culture. Mm. So, um, when I got married newly and I moved to Lagos, mm. I, I had this friend, she's very an amazing lady and all, she was very close to me and all. Mm. So, every time you know, she stayed with her, she was staying with her boyfriend, mm. she stays there from there, she goes to work and all of that. Every mm. time, all the time, she's always going to work from her. Well, Let me I pause you a bit because I want to hear this full gist. Mm -hmm. Ayo from Abulegba. Good morning, Ayo. Are you there? Are you there? Go ahead. So she said, so sometimes availability, too much, you know, you are not married to him and you are available. See, he is going to, yes, he's going to take advantage of you, he's going to treat you anyhow. Mm -hmm. You don't have a value. Mm -hmm. So she was living there, she was living with him. Could you imagine her dad, used to, mm -hmm. sometimes he would walk down there to go and look for her. Mm -hmm. He knows that she stays there. Mm -hmm. And as of that time, when she was doing that, I was like, I just looked at myself, I was like, if I had done this kind of a thing, mm -hmm. and my dad, my dad would come and, I ah. think the day mm -hmm. that my dad would come and look for me, mm -hmm. he's going to come with double barrel mm -hmm. to shoot all of us away. So you see, if, if you are available, if you make yourself available to a man, there is that tendency that he's going to disrespect you. Take advantage. You yeah. Take advantage. And then you, yourself, you feel valueless. Well, let me ask, let me ask, mm. are there no written rules? Unwritten rules that unwritten. guide relationships. For instance, I have a boyfriend who is celebrating his birthday. And in my head, I am the only known girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I don't know any other person. Mm -hmm. I may not have been married, but I am a girlfriend to this person and we've been together for years. Is it not my right to be a part of that picture? He, 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 the girl, if, as long as the girlfriend agreed arrangement, the relationship is known to both parties. Yes, me and you, you know, know. many times. The relationship now the girl they think say she did relationship. Oh, the exactly. man no no say they did relationship. Exactly. The man is in a situation we are checking mm -hmm. ourselves out. Mm -hmm. But the woman has entered relationship. Mm -hmm. So herself. the woman is beginning to feel entitled to mm -hmm. I am your I'm rib of your rib. rib. Yes. Of Meanwhile, which, you are one of your minds. They are one of the ribs, ribs. <laughs> they are considering mm -hmm. if it fits. Mm -hmm. They are still not. checking to know if you fit as a rib in the body of the person. And you you have carried the matter on your head. Yeah. They say Stay in a place of honor yes. and be brought up. Uh -huh. Like that. So I will not, I, I don't, I will not if I used to sit at the back and yeah. wait for them, I'll still go to the front, front but I would sit. sit in a way that you, I won't sit where maybe they made high table. Mm -hmm. I will sit in front, but you will not take me to the, the high, high table. table. Stay in a place of honor and be brought up. Mm -hmm. When you are struggling for attention, mm -hmm. you are struggling to be in the center. Mm -hmm. You want to enter picture. You know some people when you go for events, they want to, you want to yes, so they'll push you. They'll be pushing you, trying yeah. to get. Uh, you don't. Yeah. Yeah, you, yes. you don't yes. some. some people they are begging them. Yes. Please, Please come, come and stay here. Come and exactly. exactly. you you set yourself, yourself, increase your value. They will be the ones struggling to put you inside the picture. Exactly. But back to this baby mama thing you spoke about because and skit makers. I think those two things, eh, we can spend more time 
breaking it down. There, there is a crisis on mm. baby mama level. Mm. Um, and there is a crisis on skit making mm. level. People do anything just to trend on social media, mm. say anything to trend mm. on social media, slap, jump, mm. trick, do all sorts of things. And there was a time the police was um, arrested one or two of these skit makers that were doing, was it like a least scare tactics, they would, um, ah, pranks. Yeah, yeah. Pranks. Prank pranks. stars. Innocent yeah. people. Yeah. On innocent people. Mm. Prank stars and you were, anything on TikTok just so mm. that you will be able to make that $1,000 from TikTok, yeah. we need, there must be repercussions. You, yeah. you, whatever you're doing, mm -hmm. even within your community, I don't know that it's fake or true. Mm -hmm. So I'm watching, children are watching, people are consuming this content. This particular guy who's, who did his birthday, he has several on Facebook. He, he has several content that are very violent, slapping, 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 mm -hmm. punching, 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 mm -hmm. pushing, pushing, pushing. And we're, we're selling a narrative. Mm -hmm. Tawama started it by doing that. Ah, my parents slapped me, my parents slapped mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. But even at that, let our creativity bring us into the future. Yeah. Forecast a better future. Mm -hmm. Don't do the past. Remember Wakanda. All of us are thinking Africa is in one. Mm -hmm. Afri there's a past of Africa that is really, really developed, even though we know it's fictitious. It just gives us that feeling. Yeah. Let's that TikTok, yes, let's yes. TikTok yes. as mm -hmm. and a creative yeah, exactly. people too. Start thinking of, don't show the worst of us yeah. as a way to make us laugh. Mm -hmm. Show us an aspiration. We will still yes, laugh. We will still, laugh. still make the money, mm -hmm. but we should stop this yeah. and stop exactly. celebrating it. I think so. Yes, um, like I said now, uh, I'm not going to force myself to be in a picture. Ah, this is my fine face. So this what would you have nose. done if you wanted to be in that picture and he says no? And you know in your head that you're supposed to be his only girlfriend. Then I'll just use style and say, oh, baby, I think I need to position your head properly. I think this shirt, it, it doesn't fit well. I think that you, I need to button your shirt well. You know, sweet, 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 sweet style. style. We're, we're women now. If you want something, you know how to go about it. Hey, this is my guy. You know, sweet, 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 sweet. You now position yourself. Mm -hmm. And they snap the picture. With that, and you that appear in the picture. Person. You see? Mm -hmm. You don't need then to Then afterwards, what would happen? Don't because be, I know uh, what yeah. I would do afterwards. Afterwards? Yeah. When, when all the After guests, party, yes. When all the guests, they've gone. Yeah. And me and you in that house, yeah. in that room. Yeah. And you hear it now. Uh -uh. <laughs> You wanted to embarrass me. Will you still me. be in that relationship? They can discuss no, that's, that's, no, that's what I'm saying. I said, would, would, uh, after we finish talking about it, I'll carry my bag and I will go. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because why do I have to pet, pet, fix your body to be in a picture? Yeah. You're supposed to be with one calling me, yes. babes, now please come now. Yeah. Come now, I want to take the picture. Now my friends are here. But as for me, I won't me. even be in the picture. Since you say I should not be in the picture, honestly, I you will sit bother. down mm -hmm. and just mm -hmm. be looking. I won't be part of it at yeah. all. There's but, no need. You don't yeah. want me in the video. No, no, no. She's saying in the situation where you now want to, so like, be, as in how do you go, go about it? You still it? want to be in the picture. You still picture. want to be in the picture. Mm -hmm. How do you go about it? So um, I, I think, um, like you ladies have rightly said, mm -hmm. we need to begin to teach young people mm -hmm. how to love themselves and have a healthy self-esteem. Mm -hmm. ah. um, part of that is oh. also knowing when there's no more respect on the table mm -hmm. and how to take you out. And also, we need to empower our girls with education, mm -hmm. very important. If you look through the background of this person, mm -hmm. she may not have been empowered from home. Mm -hmm. uh, the fathers of mm -hmm. people who are raising young girls have a lot to do. It's not just the mother's work to mm -hmm. pep talk the child to have a self-esteem. It's the father's duty when it comes mm -hmm. to daughters. Mm -hmm. It's the father's duty to be the authority and show examples of how women should respect themselves. If a child loses at that level, it becomes difficult in future to be able to hold her ground and say, this. This is what I expect. This is mm -hmm. the sort of treatment that should be given to me. I am a queen. Mm. For me, if that kind of thing ever dares, which can never happen. <laughs> never, never. From the beginning of the relationship, never. you already you know already that. Already that. Know and that. Once, I, once I come in, uh, I take over, in I take charge, <laughs> you already uh, uh, know you know that complete, complete you package. cannot disrespect me. I do not possible. Uh, possible. You know already. <laughs> but peradventure, your head is touching, and you don't know. No. Mm. And we now get to that party, mm. and you tell me mm. I cannot take a picture. a picture. I will get into the room, carry my bag, and, and on a, exit. End of story. You will never see exit. me again. Yes. And no matter the begging, because something like mm. that, not exactly in this position, had happened in the university when I just got in, mm. and this guy just did me anyhow. Mm. I just carry my bag. He begged me for three years mm. to come back. As a matter of fact, I met my husband in his room. <laughs> <laughs> Disrespect like, for me. I, uh, yeah, I, you, he begged me for three years. He yeah. kept coming back. He kept realizing he has lost a gem. I <laughs> said, me, you yeah. Yeah. Do not treat me anyhow. Or do yes. 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 I know who I am. And now, let me tell you where that confidence sort of came mm. from. Mm. My father. Yeah. Yes. Like he was present and he showed me what I should take and what I shouldn't take from exactly. a man. So I had that very clear in my head. And that's why I'm very insistent on how fathers treat their daughters. I mm. see how my father, my husband, 
husband relates with my girls, and I'm happy for them because exactly. nobody can paparazzi them no. or do anyhow. No, no, you are beautiful. You are they hear it every day from every your family. Day. They I love know. You. They hate every day. I love you. They hear it every, every day. day. In fact, it's, I love you is a mantra in my house. <laughs> when you wake yes. up, you are loving. Yes. You are going to bed, you are loving. <laughs> loving. Everybody's loving, loving. everybody, yes. right? But we must insist that we mm -hmm. help our children mm -hmm. because the truth is the world out there, mm -hmm. there are a lot of people who will take advantage of your girls or even your boys if you do not pay attention. Yes, so to them yeah. and help them in such a way to recognize when there is disrespect On the and take themselves out, out of, of it. Exactly. So I want to add something. Yes, I wanted to talk about, you know me, I'm going, this, me and this, my skit makers matter. Yes. I'm sitting on the matter. Yeah, yes. we are going to. Because you know that sometimes the reason a lot of people go through anything just to, to um, trend mm -hmm. is because of the, the need for validation. Mm -hmm. We've seen girls get naked. We've seen boys do different mm -hmm. stunts on mm -hmm. TikTok. There was a time it was really scary on TikTok. People were falling. They would say, climb on this create challenge. Uh, do the Kidiko uh, Kidiko challenge. challenge. Yeah. They did Every, one, was the one challenge. Trend. Everybody's just doing all sorts because the there is lack of value. You, mm -hmm. you are trying to you're trying to fit into the crowd. Could it you be are hunger? To, uh, you are trying, yes, it's, I think it's, I think it's mm. a validation. You want to make it's money. A, there's there's a validation not just there is, there is, there is, there is, there is money there. There's money. Yeah, there is people need for money. money. But the first. from the raising of these people, we're not letting them know that there's money in everything. everything. Yes. Yeah. So we are looking for where we see that they've made money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the same way. If I see that this, um, I, I can say I want to start selling kukuli kuli oil now because it looks like mm. you are making Rama Rama too, shiny. Rama 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 shiny. Rama <laughs> so all of, us, all of us are going to join Rama Rama in selling kuli kuli oil because we only see this option. We have not been brought up to see. Or that no. there are multiple options mm -hmm. that we can do, we can raise our children, mm -hmm. we can make wealth for ourselves without denigrating ourselves, mm -hmm. we can make money without denigrating ourselves, we can make money without trading our values, yeah. mm -hmm. we can make money by solving problems. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to just be playing around on social media, creating, I tell my children when they say, I want to be on YouTube, I want to create my YouTube, and I said, mm -hmm. see, somebody sat down and created YouTube. Yes. Yeah. Some Why people can't. sat down yeah. and they thought about the fact that we need mm -hmm. to connect. You, if you, you, the more time you spend on YouTube and TikTok, you cannot create a Something. YouTube and TikTok. Yeah. Exactly. Because those that created YouTube and TikTok, they were not on YouTube yeah, and, and TikTok. TikTok. Yeah. So you must be able to raise mm -hmm. that level of mm -hmm. confidence in children yes. that they enter the society mm -hmm. creating solutions, yes. solving problems, yeah. innovating. You cannot do that yes. if you are just yeah. doing... And yes. <laughs> and, 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 and they should show yes. their dance. But let me take this call. Let me take this call. Half Lucky from Abuja. Good morning, Lucky. <laughs> Good morning, my sisters. How are you? We are fine, sir. How is your family and everything? Everybody's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Activity. I enjoy every morning. I must watch from nine o'clock to eleven. Aww. I enjoy all your conversation today. When I enjoy you. Thank you. What I, What the only thing I would say is let us uh, let us pay in our life. So that will not fall victim of circumstances. Every woman that is with a man, that is a purpose. That is a, and I take in my place that they need to use the clear eye and touch a ribbon. You, you, we dress well, wear suit, you carry white cover up, no be, no be but I. Any woman that is enduring man or suffering from man, something's wrong. Maybe you are 50 years or 40 years, you know that time is going, you will have to endure. Let us just pray that God to give every woman a, his or her partner earlier as expected. So that all this guy, all these things, we can enjoy it. But when you are old, your father cannot come and shoot you in, in the man's uh, house. He will even pray that you can go and join him if you want to die there, die there. So let us pray God to help us. Especially our women. We, we bring them well, let God provide a good man earlier. If he provide late, my sister, the person must fall this victim of. 45, 50 years, you have no option that to follow a man because you want to answer your name. You want to be removed from your father's house. No, no, no sir. You, you always have, even, no, even when you're 60, no. 70, yes, have, anytime you, you can find love. Let's see, Amaka. Yeah, at, at whatever age, you have an option. Mm. And I believe that both men and women, young uh, women and men, should be intentional on, uh, about how people treat you. Yeah. You know, yeah, how someone sense. treats you is all up to you. You have to be intentional about what you like, how you want to be loved, mm. how you want to be respected, how you mm -hmm. want to be treated. 
It's all up to you. And if, if the person, even if you like someone or you're obsessed with someone or you're having a crush on someone and they do, per adventure, they don't know how to love you. Mm. You don't know how to respect you. You put it on the table. You sit them down. You lecture teach them. them. And if it does not them. work, you walk away. And if it does not work, you walk away. Mm. You understand? Mm. I'm usually the kind of person that will never give you benef benefit of doubt on how to treat me. <laughs> but yes, have them harsh like that. Because I just believe that you should have your brain should be put in. You should have common sense on how to treat somebody. But per adventure, you don't. At least I'll give you. I'll See give the way she's just dropping the insults. Yeah. Is that your I'll brain? Give you, yes, yes, yeah. I'll give because my auntie, they're my family, they always say, I'm, they, they, they always use, um, they say, Amaka and her, she tell people that their brain is not booting. Because if your brain was booting, you would know how to treat another human being. Simple mm. courtesy, right? Mm. But per adventure, you don't know. And then I extend, I will school you. And I extend grace to you and Ew. school you. Ew. And you don't understand. And you what, refuse to learn. What am I doing in what that space? Uh, I take my, uh, myself, Jack, block me. Block the button. The relationship. Mom, 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 I block you and we move on. <laughs> no, before we get to the relationship part, because uh, you need to know how to treat me before we get into a relationship <laughs> part. Yeah. That's how Please, I feel. Listen and learn. I'm yeah. telling you. Listen and learn. Please. 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 I want to be, I, I know you want to come in, but you know, because I'm a mother of boys, I need to speak to my boys as mm, well. Because yeah. a lot of boys also are being dragged. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, some you know, I, you know, boys will be following, like they are crushing on this girl. They mm -hmm. they'll be toasting the girl, toasting the girl. The girl is using you to do shakara. Yeah. You will call the girl, she will not pick the phone. I've been so busy. You will check on her, she will not answer you. Mm. You she, you would buy gifts, you collect the gift and say, okay, I will see you tomorrow. You want to do birthday with her, she does not allow. Mm. So men will still go there. Yes. Ah, yes. that I want this. I'm going to stay there. Moga, you take, borrow yourself. Yes. <laughs> if they are giving you yeah. signal, go. Take, take it up on yourself and move on because mm. it, some, some men in marriage are being disrespected by yeah. their wives. Mm -hmm. yeah. And in this, and they'll be saying, I, I love her. Mm. I, I, you know, I, I love her. As we're talking to the women to yes, talk to the men be as well. confident in themselves. The man should, some men don't value them. So they don't know they carry, they, 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 are, they are an advantage to a relationship. Mm. Mm. Some men feel like for this woman, this very beautiful, especially those that marry very beautiful ones. Mm. Ah. Hey, oh. <laughs> oh, they will just be all over the... Off the yeah. mic, off the mic, <laughs> off the mic. They will not be pampering. They will spend their last card. They will be sending everything. We need to let the men understand that. Your, you, the, even if you feel like your English is not so good, mm. or you don't look, or you are short, mm -hmm. because we discriminate mm -hmm. against some men, mm -hmm. because they will say they are not tall. Mm -hmm. They will say that their English is not good. Mm -hmm. they, are, they are not very handsome. They are not tall, dark and handsome. Mm -hmm. So the men will not be working extra hard to get a girl, yeah. or be doing all sorts yeah. to maintain For that relationship. But some men like the chase. Yes, exactly. they love the chase. Men That's what we Don't take it away. Men are hunters. Mm -hmm. Men are hunters. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that 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 part of your boys, mm -hmm. I well, I beg to differ. Mm -hmm. They need to, if, because they need they to change. See that I think you as a woman. woman. Yeah. Let's let yeah. the male call us for they they see, give If yeah. they see that quality yeah. in a woman, they yeah. won't want to let it go. Yeah. yeah. And that is what will make them. They will continue. Chasing, chasing and loving. And and yeah. If a girl disrespects no. you, and move. See, and talk about it. Nobody's too busy for that you. That man yeah. just quickly put a yeah. ring on the finger. No, but, no, 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 but the thing is so that, that nobody's, no, nobody's, too nobody's too busy for someone they care about or they yeah. love. You yeah. want to hear the person's voice. If the person sure. just calls, you want to pick up. You want to hear their voice. You want to tell them about your day. If someone is too busy for you, or more, you're yes. not priority. There's yes. another priority somewhere that mm -hmm. they are rushing. Yeah. They're, they're, they're rushing. The you're not the one they are there. rushing. The signs are always there. So for a man, if you're chasing, at least, if you're chasing a woman, even though the chase is good, let the, the woman be giving you small, small green lights. Mm. You know, she's doing shakara, mm. but she'll give small So you need to have the same spirit. So no, this person likes you, eh, but eh. I'm enjoying the chase. Let's take another call. <laughs> Alhaji Kazim from Sweden. How are you doing today, sir? <laughs> Ladies will not kill me. Are you there, sir? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here with you, man. Yes. Go ahead, you're live. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Don't listen to the TV. Just listen to the call. Okay, yeah, I'm listening to the call. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. <coughs> yeah, good morning. Good morning, BC, Tokwe, Amaka, and all of you are the, the, the <laughs> Please, permit me to just go back a little bit about the Yabelon issue. Go ahead, sir. Yes. First of all, I heard that, and I read it on news in Sweden, that uh, there's a court that is trained the TFCs to arrest Yaya Bello. Am I right? There was a court order. Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm? So if that's the case, mm. why blame Yaya Bello then? 
since there was a court That's where I see. To arrest him. Mm, okay. Yeah, but they couldn't get him now. No, there was a court order stopping them the from arrest. Uh, you oh. know, they always do no, 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 but there were, no, there were two uh, uh, court, court orders. The order one in no. Abuja mm -hmm. said that they should arrest him, give an order for arrest. Mm -hmm. The one in Lokoja squashed that and uh, said that they should so not. So which is yeah. the superior one? So there's, there's, no, there's no superior one. So they are, they are, that, that, they are conflicting so, orders. Yes. Yeah, they are conflicting orders. And uh, whether this, for the fact that uh, uh, there's a high court that says that you should be, that's given an order that you should be um, arrested, arrested, right? You should be, just go and face him. They're, they're not, they say you should come and answer. Just go there now, present yourself and answer. People and then answer. they will, uh -huh. Let's come back to our current topic. <sighs> Yes, yeah, so so mm -hmm. I was um, about to say that um, I, I think it's yeah. just for the men and even women yeah. to draw the line. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when you chase, I like what you said, you yes. see green lights that, yes. okay, this person it's is playing a bit, a little bit hard to mm -hmm. get, but then she's still giving me the green light. Yes. But when there's no green light at all, some people yeah. don't know how to collect no. Ah. That's the problem. You see, you're coming to this girl, you're chasing this girl, the girl is telling you no, you're still mm -hmm. believing that you can mm. get any somehow, girl that somehow. you want. I had a conversation with one friend at a time. Mm. They took us out when he came to the university, and then we were talking. And he said he believes that if he wants me, he will get me. Mm. I didn't even like him in the first place. Uh, he did not tick any of my boxes. To talk to you. That, exactly. I, I followed a friend, though. Uh, what is follow, follow? I followed yeah. a friend to go and chop pepper soup. And you are looking at me yeah. and telling me, if he wants me, he will get me. There's nothing I can do about it. I said, yeah, try. Let's see. Uh, try. Since you now know me that, yeah, and he said, there was something else he said. He said, mm. uh, women always start with a no, and then later on, they go with a yes. yes. I said, but I'm a very different breed. Uh, yeah. Before you sit down on that table, I know no. if anything was ever going to happen. happen. And if I know that it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen. Sister. 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 No matter what you do, we I already know. I can tell from the vibe that I'm going to vibe with this person or not. or not. And he kept insisting. And I see that with a lot of men who believe that the no is just coming mm -hmm. as a front. Mm -hmm. The yes will come later. Mm -hmm. So they, they, are, they are getting what they, 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 that too. they, mm -hmm. they want. But there are some men that actually uh, got successful. Over that time. Hey, that's yeah. why they all of them believe now. They are not sometimes, sometimes, they they believe. Are, sometimes they are plan B, but they do not know. So sometimes, oh, yeah. let me tell you, let me give people gist. Men, I hope men, men, I hope people are watching on this. The men that are not, the ones that are watching, record that now and give other men no. People are watching football this simple. Let, oh, yeah, let, 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 me, let me gossip to you people. Eh? Give us the gist. If she says no, she's not giving you green lights. Mm. Eh? So that Omo, that your plan B, plan C. Hmm. Then if plan A now messes her up, Quick, quick. Oh, move, oh. Oh, move, oh. <laughs> she now going to hook you up for plan B. You better not upgrade it to plan A. Hey. That's what they do. Hey. So, uh, be wise. Be wise. Be wise. Say so, wise. I, I, but no. I was not, yes. it's not all, it's, it was I wasn't not, in this category. Exactly. So, I'm hearing all of these things. That I, I'm, I'm like, like exactly. I, I mean, this if I was a babe at a point in time. Yes. I was like, You're still a babe. I was, ah. church, I, was, I was too church. I was a church girl. I was a me, it happened to me. My husband chased me for a very long time. Why were you playing? You were doing shakara. I wasn't doing shakara. I was just in school, mm -hmm. and then you know, I was like, Let me study. Why did you say that? Why did you say that? But you some things. No, the first time I met him, you know, before mm. you enter school, they'll tell you, Don't chase any man that mm. you know, focus on your academics. On your academics and, all. Mm. and the first day I saw him, he had this trouser, he was going for a party, he had this torn. Mm. Uh, trousers. Crazy and Jane. Like, hey, hey, see this person that they said we should avoid. This is the person, this one is yeah. the one that they said don't do <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> So I said, no, 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 I'm not. And then he now taught me. There was a course he now, you know, he was teaching me. Mm. me you are not falling. And he was no. hurrying oh, green lights. Like, you are giving an opportunity for a party. I was like, and they told us don't go for parties. And you, you are going for parties. He was going for a party. I was not like, this one, see trouser, see party. Mm. This is the guy that they said we should avoid, yeah. and that was how he kept. No, but, but but you were giving him green light in the sense mm -hmm. that you made him your friend to even allow him teach you a course. That means you were spending time with him. No, it was he was in your space. Afterwards. It was after a while. Mm. I was like, this guy is persistent. He's always disturbing me. Okay, mm. let me try. Let me give it a try. Yeah. But you guys were vibing. You were vibing. Mm. You were vibing. Yeah. So let's come back so to the very serious um, aspect, which mm. is uh, the chase for numbers mm. on social media. That is mm. allowing a lot of people. Do crazy things just because they want to have the numbers. Mm. How do we help people understand? Like Top Me rightly mentioned, that you can be 
build value away from social media and away from that number. Mm -hmm. And we also, the brands that, you know, these days, do you know that even are. to go for an audition mm -hmm. for anything, they will ask you, what's your social media, media handle? Page. They want to go and check the numbers that you have. Mm -hmm. And you can lose out on jobs, no matter yes, how good yes. you are, because you don't have the numbers, the numbers on social media. And that's why you will not blame a lot of people who want to do whatever it takes to get that number. But how do we now help people understand that we should move? Your, the numbers does not show your value. You can have values and be less when it comes to social media numbers. Mm. How do we sustain the value that we have so that what you are getting is authentic, you are not misleading people, you are not hurting anybody, yes. and it will last you for a longer time? How do we just help people understand that, especially our young ones? Show okay. Mm. Show workings that have value. Mm. The show workings, the word I learned last week, mm. Saturday. Mm. Okay. Um, because what we see, the biggest social media content creator that have money. How much is the money? Uh, because there are some monies mm -hmm. that you are thinking you have money. Mm. That some mm. chief marketing officer, mm. Alaba a boy chief company, yes. mm. is making much more than what you are making. Mm. Yeah. Without hustling, the hustle you are hustling, mm -hmm. traveling, mm -hmm. all expense paid trip, mm -hmm. with the children being covered. Mm. Some CEO, in, some Alaba mm. boys, yes, so. some computer mm. village boys, Forget. right mm. there inside their shop. Mm. What you are gathering and dancing and jumping mm. and recording and mm. posting mm. and begging people to, and doing crazy stunts to mm. make, mm. they are making it in one day inside mm. their shop in computer Quietly. village. Mm. So we need to see mm. the examples of money. Mm. Money full town. Yes. When you see different How examples, much is you money? will not be chasing, mm, you will not be chasing because you are chasing what you know. Yes. Mm. So we need to give more examples yes. so that you will see other types of money. Exactly. And you will see that the real people that have money, they're not making noise. They don't make noise. They're not on social media. They're not posting mm. anything. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was having a conversation with somebody on Tuesday. The person was saying that, really, I don't need mm. to sell. Mm. On, it's, I don't need, nobody on social media is my customer. Mm. Wow. The, if you know, show me a building, say this building, they take this building now. This this one mm. is 70 million. Mm. Mm. As in, like they would like it's not mm. buying you no know, mm. rent. Mm. And there are several like that. And it's not it's not social media they'll come and take that building. Mm. Yeah. That's, yeah. It's like why don't say 70 yeah. million for a building? It was a floor. The the square mm. perimeter space, one floor, 70 million. It's not Instagram, I'm going to sell that. Mm. It's not on TikTok, I'm going to sell, that. sell that. So yeah. for me. It was interesting to see another mm. perspective of money. Mm. It was interesting when I went to Dubai. I mm. met people mm. that were top executives mm -hmm. in different, different in the corporate world, mm -hmm. and they had stupid money. Mm. It was interesting to see that perspective because sometimes mm -hmm. you only see one money. You think mm -hmm. money is only in one place, mm -hmm. and True. it's only in one pocket. Mm -hmm. so expose exposing young people, young people young. into mm -hmm. the myriads of opportunity yes. to make money yeah. will change their perspective. Yeah. And also, if you, and then also if you have to be on social media. And you know, we all have different um, interests and passions, especially for this Gen Z. Now, when we are growing up, or what was available to us was the fact that you have to be a professional, that you're a lawyer, banker, economist, you know, like, yeah. you know. The, but now with the Gen Z, the <coughs> options are uh, mainly plenty. social media and it's plenty. So, but if you have to be on that social media, you want to make money as a content creator too. Um, mm -hmm. If you notice, when you go on your social media, both Facebook, both Instagram, you choose, there's a drop down where you can choose. And you usually see that. It's usually a community, right? Mm -hmm. What is a community? If you're on social media, you want to get the numbers, mm -hmm. and then you're, you're also trying mm -hmm. to be authentic, then you build a community. When you build a community, just like I've followed the diary of a Niger girl for, for so many years. Mm -hmm. And I've seen her being very intentional about building her community, yeah. okay? Building her business. Business, well. Building her business. No, she, first, she first of all built the community. She first of all built the she community before her business. Mm -hmm. She now, it was when she had built the community that she now used that as a platform so for her business, her business, to introduce her business. Because when, what, what do I mean by building a community? Build a community of people that they now know you. Mm. They know, like, if, like on my social media page, if you ask them, like, what does that maca like? They know I love mango. <laughs> I like my plantain. <laughs> you understand? They know I love my fashion. So you build a community mm. of people that they know you're, you're interacting with them. They know you, you know them. So that whenever you now put out something, do you understand? They engage, and when they engage, then the money numbers, comes. then money comes. The numbers build. Right? I mean, I'm not making money of it, but the numbers build for those that are doing that, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to be authentic. Form a community of people that know you, understand you, can trust you, mm -hmm. and then people. yes, mm -hmm. you, and and. Um, you, you take it up from there. Yeah, we also need to help them find other ways to make money. Mm -hmm. Like you rightly mm -hmm. said, everything should but not now, start is that... and end on social media. Mm -hmm. But yeah, okay, go ahead. Yeah, but the truth now is that social media actually makes this Gen Z mm -hmm. makes them very rich now. Yeah. The AI, they are so now. In fact, this mm -hmm. AI that is coming out now, the robotics, the so many of them. 
like the um, business analysis, yeah. all those things. No, not social media now. Business analysis is a career path. Career but you know, path, but, but if you're looking for, yes, mm. but if you are looking for mm. people, experts or no, mm. those you kind can of get them on them social social You go to social media and go and look for them. Mm. Like me, if I'm looking for something, I'm mm. look, maybe I'm looking for someone that, okay, for example, the last time I was looking for someone that was going to be my manager. Mm. I went to social media to go and look for someone. I'll look at your page, look at the kind of person you are. From your page, I can, they need to have a glimpse of who you are. Mm. You understand? So that's how um, the social media is. Mm. So this Gen Z, they can take advantage of it mm. and make money out of it. Yeah. You do not have to have plenty followers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are some people that have just maybe 100 followers, but they are they making so much yeah. money. 100 is too much now. They are making so much followers. money from there. <laughs> okay, from sorry, there. 100. That's and then talk about that um, building that you're saying that the person mm. has, he does not have his customers on Instagram. There will be one time that one person will just see and be like, oh, let me go and have a look at it. Mm. Mm. And then the person will just, and then the person will buy. Mm. Your customers can be anywhere. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So just explore Engage every... With them. Yeah. So in coasting down, we are almost yeah. out of time. Mm -hmm. I also want to point out something. You know, we had mentioned earlier how uh, fathers need to help build mm -hmm. the, their girls and even their boys' mm -hmm. um, self-confidence and self-esteem mm -hmm. so that they are not treated anyhow by people out there mm -hmm. because the world is a wicked place and we always mm -hmm. have people who want to use you, abuse you, mm -hmm. and then dump you at the end of the day. I also realized something. Uh, I've been coaching quite a number of people, and I realized that... Um, our girls pick up on how our mothers react to our fathers. Mm. And it stays in their subconscious for a very long time, which now begins to play out in their own lives when they get married. So if a mother is in an abusive relationship, for instance, Most likely. and she's refusing to leave that relationship, and this child is growing up to see how the father is disrespecting the mother, the father is you know, treating the mother anyhow, and also sees how the mother is accepting all of those behavior, most likely, Templates. when that child gets into a marriage, it becomes a template. So she can also attract somebody who abuses her, and then she feels it's normal for her yeah. to sit mm. and take that abuse. Uh, so I always talk to uh, fathers, mm. the ones that I've had opportunity to talk to, mm. and I say, how do you treat your wife? Mm. Because how you treat your, no matter how you love your children, if you don't treat your wife right, you don't love your children. Mm. Because it will trickle down to how they will receive the treatment. Mm. And fathers don't like to hear that. Mm -hmm. One of the things I used to stop my father from behaving in a certain way to his wives mm. was because I was using myself as an example. I said, Daddy, mm. Mm. if somebody does this to me, would you like, he said, they, they dare not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he will now stay like this. I said, but you're doing it. Mm. If somebody does like this to me, would you like, he said, they dare not. Who, you will not even, I, I said, but you're doing it. Mm. So that now started ringing in his head because he didn't want BC to be treated that way. He had to change the way he was treating. And that was because I was a bold child. He mm. raised me to be bold front. to even talk. So mm. how do we help parents, most especially fathers, on how they relate with their wives. Yeah, this I've public announcement everything. you have yeah. done, because we're yeah. almost out of time. Have to yeah. go, yeah. The public announcement that you have done, mm. what we do on the show, exposing mm. ourselves to knowledge, mm. attending conferences, trainings, programs, mm. and I think we should normalize, men should normalize conversations around parenting. Mm. Because much. they normalize, <coughs> men talk about business, mm -hmm. men talk about girls, yeah. men talk about sports, yeah. men talk about Politics, yes. mm -hmm. but we don't talk enough about parents. 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 How, are my boy, how are my boys doing? Mm. How are my girls doing? Mm. How are my daughter yesterday? She was just frowning her face through at the moment was good. When mm. you talk about it, ah, don't worry, how old is she? Mm. Oh, that's she the age that they do it. Yeah. This is how my wife handled, this is what I did. Yeah. When we normalize conversations around parenting mm. amongst men, men, and it will just take a man to initiate it. Mm. Take that initiative. You will be helping many men exactly. in solving future problems. Thank you, beautiful ladies. Mm. We've had a wonderful time today. That's all we can take on the show. We've learned a few things too. Yes. We need to work on our value system. Very yes. important. Uh, it's your responsibility to respect yourself because you mm. cannot give what you do not have. Mm -mm. And if you do not Man. respect yourself, people around you will pick up on that and they will not respect you. Yeah. It's your responsibility to stay in a place of honor. Let them welcome you like mm -hmm. Top Messi. Let them mm -hmm. be the ones to say, oh yeah, come and sit in front. Do not push into that. You also need to be intentional, like Amaka has said, on how people treat you. Pay mm -hmm. attention to how people treat you and also how you treat yourself and then when we talked about social media we need to find a way to expose our young people on different means of making money aside from just you know doing whatever just to get the numbers mm. that's all we can take on the show today your view pigeon starts tomorrow <laughs> don't miss it we'll see you again next week bye bye now